Hi, beautiful people. How are ya? I hope you're having a great day. Well, I thought we'd do a get ready with me. Uh, I'm sitting at my vanity in my bedroom and I need to put my makeup on and then do a little curl or something with my hair. So I hope you don't mind as we get ready together. First thing that I tend to do for my videos, not for going out in public, because as you know, um, as you age, things don't quite go on the same as they did when you were younger. But I do like to get rid of my dark circles under here for my videos and kind of white out this area a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got a mirror over here to the side. And I also use this across my bridge because my CPAP mask puts... <laughs> A red mark that takes almost all day to go away and it's now like after one in the afternoon so I've already had a doctor appointment this morning went shopping at Walmart finally bought me some pants and undergarments that fit since I lost the 35 pounds uh, everything I have doesn't really fit I have been buying tops because I didn't want to wear big baggy tops for my videos. But you know what? We do what we can. But now I'm set up for winter, I think. I should be. So I hope everyone is doing okay and that things are looking good in your world. I know I went through a pretty rough patch there for a while and I'm very thankful for you all as I was going through that. You were all there for me and I appreciate that. <sighs> rough patches are hard, but we get through them. And I feel like I finally come out on the other side. This is a little bit of a tinted, uh, it's got a very light tint. It's a tinted foundation. Um, gives me a little bit of color. I don't know if it shows up on video, but it makes me feel like I've got a little bit of color because I do tend to stay out of the sun or at least use uh, a sunscreen. I think it's a pretty color. It's called, uh, well, it's by CoverGirl, Clean, Clean Fresh. I don't know, I don't have my glasses on to be able to read it, but it looks like this. But it's pretty, and I think it goes on pretty well. You just have to be careful with a lot of foundations these days because they accentuate the wrinkles. But on camera, I kind of need something. I've noticed for a long time I couldn't figure out how to get the very white skin that was appearing on my videos. And I tried different lighting and stuff and still I look like I was uh, so pasty white that I was gonna pass out or something. <laughs> so I finally thought, you know what? Let me just try tinting my face a little bit so I'm not so scary looking. So that's why I do this. When I go out in public, I don't bother, to be honest. I'm just me.
the other thing that uh, definitely shows up on camera is how my eyebrows are tinted. If you notice, they're darker here, and then there's hair here, but it is so light that you can barely see it. It's that way on either side. I was a blonde growing up, and my hair's dark blonde, light brown, naturally. I'm thinking of letting um, the hair color grow out that I've been, I've been hair coloring it and letting my natural color come through. I don't know. We'll see how it looks. I may not like it. It might bother me a lot. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I love going to Walmart um, in the late morning. There's a lot of people who uh, male and female, but, uh, uh, you know, I don't tend to chit chat with other men, but I will with women. I don't even know, especially if I notice they're my, my age or older and I find myself just chit chatting away and I enjoy that a lot. It gets me out and I was walking out of the parking lot and I thought I knew where I parked because I have learned to park in the same general area no matter what when I go there. Otherwise, it, it's scary. So I walked out, went down. I knew immediately when I walked down uh, an aisle, I was like, this isn't it. I drove up the lane, so I went back over to the other lane next to it and this older lady my age older I don't know she's like I do that all the time so I always park down this lane just this lane every single time well I try but sometimes I come in to Walmart from a different way than I came in today so we do what we can there we go so I do tend to take my eyebrow pencil and just go over the blonde a little bit this is actually the color says blonde but as you can see it goes on uh, kind of a light brown I guess if you're blonde, you you don't you want to be able to see your eyebrows a little bit. So I went to church on Sunday, and my little brother came for a visit at the church usually I just watch church online but I went in person because he said he was going to come for a visit and uh, so uh, we had a little family reunion after church we sat with him of course but anyways my granddaughter uh, the oldest one she came up to me and she just kept wiping and wiping on my right up right about here next to my eyebrow and I'm like what is it do I have something on me and she's like yeah there's something and she just kept wiping and I I went like this and I started wiping it this way and she goes oh that's it that's what you needed to do so I don't know if somehow I smudged my eyebrow pencil all the way in here sat through church with it probably and she caught it after church, but and my husband's like, yeah, I saw that. I'm like, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> he does that all the time. Yeah. So at that point, I'm ready to put on some eyeshadow and for my videos. Um, 
And if I'm going out in public and if I'm dressing up, especially if it's evening, I'm probably going to do this to my eyes uh, just to accentuate them because they tend to be small. And I wear glasses, so you can see them. I might actually go to all this trouble. We went out for dinner um, Saturday, Friday, Friday night. I didn't bother. So you never know. You never know about me. But anyways, this is a light color, very light. And I just put that all on here because prior to doing all this makeup, I put a moisturizer on. I love this stuff. Uh, CeraVe moisturizing cream. You can use it all over your body and it's wonderful on your face. So I don't want any of my makeup to run or anything. So this gives a nice foundation for my color that I want to put on. So I do that. And I'm very simple these days. So I like to use, isn't that a pretty color? Can you tell? I think it's pretty. Um, I don't know what the color is. I never can read these anymore. The print is so tiny and it's white print against that light color. Can't read it. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this and Put it here in the occipital bone area. Orbital. <sighs> I'm getting old. In the orbital bone area. Occipital's back here. I have to be a little bit careful when it comes to doing my right eye because if I close my left eye I have that blind spot over here and I can't see my eye to put the makeup on because this is all gone. And so I have to keep my eye open a little bit just so I can see. But I can close my right eye and see on this side, so that's good. In case you're new, my vision loss in my right eye is from having undiagnosed sleep apnea and the lack of oxygen, they said, to my eye caused vision loss. There's a big long name for it, which of course I can't think of right now, but I might try to put it on the screen for you. We were on vacation when I noticed something not right in my vision. And I kept saying to my husband, something's not right. I, I'm seeing something, something gray. I don't understand what's going on, but something's not right. And, you know, we're on vacation. We're just heading towards our destination. So we were gone over a week. So when I got back, of course, of course, I'd been home a couple of days before I even called the eye doctor, but I did finally call the eye doctor. They got me in pretty much right away and um, scheduled an appointment with a specialist in Fort Wayne. That's when I found out um, lots and lots of tests. Like I had an MRI of my brain, a bunch of blood work and lots of vision vision tests to find out that it was sleep apnea. She ordered a sleep study and voila, that was the problem. I have severe obstructive sleep apnea. So I wear my CPAP mask ritually, always. I don't want it to damage my eye further or go into the other eye because if it went in the other eye I wouldn't be able to drive because I'm 
visually impaired severely in my right eye, basically uh, legally blind. So if it gets in my left eye, that would not be good. Not good. So I picked up this eyeliner, didn't realize it had this really, let's see if I can get in there. Look at that long brush on it. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? This isn't, because I like liquid eyeliner just because it's easy to put on. And I have finally gotten used to it. I probably won't buy it again. I don't know. But I just lay the the brush down right where I want it and kind of pull it over. But it isn't easy. Even though I've been doing eyeliner <laughs> most of my life, I would say. This process is not what I'm used to. <sighs> but it does the job. And if you want some really good mascara, this stuff is amazing. It's called Falsies. Um, my granddaughter and daughter, uh, they're the ones who said, try this. This is great. So I did, and I was like, whoa, okay, I like it. can't talk and put my mascara on at the same time. So, I don't put any mascara on most of the time on the bottom. It's just, I just don't. I do generally, though, put mask, uh, eyeliner on. I don't know why I didn't do that a second ago, because now it's going to be hard to do, but I need better lighting in here. It looks like there's a lot of light. I have two lights coming from down there, but I need something blaring at me this way. I need a lighted mirror to do this, but I just have this little mirror here. So, doesn't look too bad. I kind of messed it up over here because I think I need better lighting, but we'll see how that is. And then the last thing is blush. I'm using this Boom blush. Um, notice they got a new color. I think they call it rose or something like that. These are their, this is their original. It's that color. It's not that bright though when you put it on. And then this one is called Glimmer. And I like the Glimmer. Sometimes I just use it as a, bl a blush alone. You can see the color. Um, but I will generally put it right here on the top of my cheekbones. And then I put the deeper color. See, isn't that pretty? I put that under here. And then I just take my little brush and blend that in. I'll use a little bit of that but up there last is my lipstick which I put on 
at my computer. I keep them in my desk drawer because that's pretty much the only time I put that on too. Um, I'm just a country girl. So I will see you at my desk. Oh, I need to curl my hair. I curled it this morning. I wonder if I can just get by with just giving it a little bit of this. Works for me. I'll see you at my desk. So we're back. And since I'm wearing, well, I decided to put a necklace on. And since I'm wearing such a bold color, I thought maybe I wouldn't go too bold on my lipstick and just do a lighter color. See how this does. That'll work. A good idea if I get my microphone set up. It feels like it's been a long time since I've just had a chit chat with you all. I got really dry. I should have put hairspray on my hair. Hi, Tessa. I heard him. There you are. What are you doing? You want to come up here and say hi? Tessa hasn't said hello for a while, have you? So can you say hi to everybody? Sometimes they like to see you. Yeah, because you're so cute. Yeah, who's mommy talking to? Huh? Who's mommy talking to? Tell him you've been a good boy. He has. He's been a pretty good boy, haven't you? Yeah, say I spoiled. Yeah, say I just, I know. Tell them, I know. Just say I so spoiled. Yeah, I so spoiled. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I send you gentle hugs and support. Love you.